Hi, I'm Tim McGuire, Chair of the Libertarian Party of Indiana. Just wanted to take a quick moment this Friday evening to remind you that election night is coming up this Tuesday, November 6th. And I don't want to take your votes for granted, so I am asking you to vote Libertarian this Tuesday. All, from all of our candidates, at the top of the ticket with Mark and Lucy and John, all the way down to your local candidates in your local communities. Uh, and don't forget, Mark Rutherford running for Secretary of State is our ballot access race. So it's very important that not only we all vote, but we all ask our friends and family to vote uh, Libertarian this year as well. If you're not sure where to go or when the polls are open, uh, go to indianavoters.com uh, and they'll tell you when the polls are open and where, where you go to vote and who's going to be on your ballot. Again, that's indianavoters.com. They'll also tell you when early voting is happening, uh, either this weekend or Monday. And I'm asking all Libertarians to vote early because I've got one more favor for you. I'm asking you to work the polls on election day, handing out materials for our candidates to get them over the top so they can win on Tuesday. Uh, if you're willing to work the polls on Tuesday, uh, email volunteer at markforindiana.com. Again, it's volunteer at markforindiana.com. Uh, tell them where you live and uh, where you'd like to hand out materials. And if you're willing to help out one of our other great candidates, uh, we've also got up in uh, the northwest area of Indiana, Donna Dunn. In Carmel, Indiana, we've got Donald Rainwater. Out in Newcastle, uh, we've got Jeremiah Morrell, as well as uh, Tom Ferganoff. He's uh, running for 6th District Congress. Uh, Danny Lundy's down in uh, Mooresville. Uh, we got Tommy Brown III out in Salem. Uh, Clyde Myers in Columbus. And uh, Charles Johnson in uh, Madison, Indiana. Um, if I didn't mention one of your favorite candidates, go ahead and reach out to one of them uh, to work for them on uh, Tuesday. But also, no matter what you do, even if you just want to stay in your area where there's only the, the statewide candidates on the ballot, please still email volunteer at markforindiana.com. We'll get you set up with materials to, uh, to hand out. Some housekeeping, other things on the ballot, uh, some nonpartisan issues. Uh, I think we all know about the constitutional amendment that's on the ballot. I, for one, haven't actually decided yet. I'm going to decide before I vote on uh, Monday. Uh, a lot of libertarians are voting no on it. But I've also talked to a lot of knowledgeable libertarians who are going to be voting yes because they think it's good for Indiana. Um, one tradition I like to do is uh, vote for vote no on all judge retentions uh, on the ballot. Uh, I think they should have to work for a living. I am going to break with tradition this year, and I am going to vote yes to retain Jeffrey Slaughter on the Indiana Supreme Court. Uh, Jeffrey's uh, a great judge, and he's made some very pro-libertarian uh, rulings in the past. Uh, some, we got a couple of school board candidates uh, that uh, I would personally love to support, but, but I don't live in their area. But if you do, in uh, White, Whiteland, Indiana, we got Rodney Banker running for Clark Pleasant School Board. And in Zionsville, uh, we've got Errol Alley Sentnock uh, running for Zionsville School Board. Uh, and of course, election night parties are going on all over Indiana. If you're not sure where uh, one is near you, just contact your local candidate or local county party. Or if you live near Indianapolis or want to drive on down, uh, we're going to be uh, partying at the Antelope Club. Come join us. I'll be there. So will Mark Rutherford, Lucy Breton, Donald Rainwater, Danny Lundy, and a whole, a whole lot of other local libertarians. So again, have a great weekend. Vote Libertarian on Tuesday, November, November 6th. Thanks.